Hey guys, I'm Laura Saltman for AccessHollywood.com. I have got the best job today because I am here with Chris Richardson and Phil Stacy, who are probably not happy to be seeing me though, because <laughs> they were eliminated. So it's been, you know, 24 hours. How are you guys feeling? Pretty tired. <laughs> tired because you've been going. It's been a crazy day. day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you're almost done, right? That's right. And you did uh, really well. You got to sing. What I love about you is that you are in your Navy uniform. That's right. I'm sporting the Navy uniform today, representing. Was it a hope that you could actually wear it on Idol at all to perform one of the weeks? You know, I would have loved to, have, and and I think that that Simon was going to request uh, "God Bless the USA" if I made it to the top three, where the judges request songs, and I'd I'd be able to do it in uniform. But uh, you know, I I'm so grateful. For, to the Navy for letting me do this, you know, I, my brothers and uh, standing in the gap for me while I was gone on American Idol, so I just wanted to represent. So this is a personal choice. This isn't them saying, "Hey, when you go out afterwards, you got to put the uniform back on." Yeah, I'm proud to wear my Navy uniform, you know. Very good. You know, one of the things about being a new celebrity is the mm -hmm. tabloids love to follow you and the yeah. paparazzi around you. What was it like dealing with that when when you hear that you know they're linking you with? I heard Lindsay Lohan, I heard Lauren Conrad from MTV. What is what goes through your mind? You know, I just I it's sort of surreal because you know I'm I'm never in nobody cared about my dating life before you know and now that I'm like going out and having fun with people and they completely will twist the story around to make it seem like you're yeah I was like I wish I knew I was dating these people you know because <laughs> they're just friends you know the, the people that I met out there are just friends I was in a you know a three and a half year relationship back home I just got out of it and yeah, I don't. I'm not, I wasn't even looking for anything, you know. I'm not looking for any type of relationship, but just trying to make friends. And it's kind of funny though to see it. You know, it sort of makes you laugh. He's like, "Man, I, this is weird. I didn't even know this." You know. Well, it keeps you in the papers. So even if it's not true, it's always good to be in the papers. As I guess as so. You learn. <laughs> of course, what I find funny though is how does a guy from Chesapeake, Virginia, who was a manager at Hooters, get to hang out with Lauren Conrad or Lindsay Lohan or all these celebrities? How did you like? How did you meet them? You know, I just met I, I met, I mean, I've met even more people than that. It's just through, like, uh, I met a mutual friend, happened to, you know, do a lot of club promotions, and I just went and I visited a couple clubs. And it's, and they make it sound like I go out all the time, and I really don't, you know. And um, happened a couple times that I went out, they got me on camera. Of course. So, but, I mean, it's pretty cool to, for people to actually pay attention to you. Like, I'm like, why are you paying attention to me? There's way more important people than me around here. Absolutely. Now, Phil... I have to get the story straight on something I read about about Chris that he motivates you guys to get up every day and like work out. Is that true? He tries. <laughs> you know, he, he tries to motivate us, and no, that, then we're so lazy much. and not so much. Not so no. much. When Chris when Chris Sly was Chris here, Sly, yeah, definitely. I'd, I'd 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 motivate him to go and work out and stuff like that because I usually go and I work out all the time. But you know, I don't think. I mean. I think I mentioned something to Phil. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, we're going to do it. You know, we're going to do it. We just never and got around to doing it. And we didn't do it. I have uh, some friends at Access Hollywood who were very upset to, to, to be here. Um, and uh, they are gay and they love you. <laughs> Does it surprise you to hear that uh, you have a very, very large gay contingent of fans? You know, I, I'm not surprised by anything at this stage in the game. You know, I just, I appreciate anybody who's a fan of what it is that I do. You know, it doesn't matter if... However you choose to live your lifestyle, I respect it, you know? And it's just, I think it's great, you know? And it, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even know, I mean. <laughs> fan's a fan, <laughs> Fan's right? a fan, you know? Um, I talked to you on the conference call and I asked you this question I'm gonna ask you for Access Hollywood. Um, you mentioned that you might not be able to do the Idol tour, is that true? Yeah, you know, my primary responsibility is a United States sailor, so I'm, I'm anxious to get back home and resume my post, you know, with the, with the Navy, and if they want to send me on the tour, they can do that, and I, I certainly want to do the tour. I, I would love to, do, to the do the tour. But my primary duty is to the Navy, so, you know, it's up to them. Is it like 50-50, 80-20, 90-10? I don't know. Call me and ask me the day before the tour starts. <laughs> I'll know by then. Yeah, do you think they'll make a decision soon? So sure. you'll know and not be left hanging? Definitely. How sad would it be if you didn't get to do the tour? Well, you know, honestly, honestly, I, I've got a responsibility. I, I signed up to, to be in the United States Navy, you know, and, and, and I'm going to do whatever, whatever they want me to do. I, I think it would be good for the Navy if I was on the tour, but they may have something that, that's more important for me to do, and, and I've got to do my duty first. I feel bad because you guys kind of got the shaft because you have to now do all the publicity together and you don't get to be your single stuff. But I actually feel like it might be better for because you guys are having so much fun together. You get to hang out together. Mm -hmm. You get to be uncle to his baby. Chris is definitely he's one of my best friends in the world. He's an amazing talent. You know, it's, it's I feel fortunate to be on, on the publicity tour with him. You know, so I, I, I'm glad about it. You know, I'm excited. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, man. You know, so. <laughs> thanks, Phil. Oh, oh. Good love, good love. Now, 
Now, Phil, you will go back in the Navy, and you are you're enlisted until October 2008. And you told a good story on the conference call about there might be some security concerns. Oh if yeah, you go no. out again. <laughs> Why? I know because well, my primary job for the Navy is to sing in a rock band, and we tour at high schools, you know, so. So I can just imagine us going into a high school now. We have security issues already at some of them, you know. So I can't imagine after this whole experience that, you know, it's going to be crazy. It'll Lots be crazy. of screaming teenagers. This one will know about screaming teenagers, I have a feeling, as Absolutely. well, no matter where he goes. What uh, do you plan to do next? You know, um, go home, relax, come back to the tour, and hopefully put out an album as soon as possible, you know, so I can just really show people what it is that I do and what I really enjoy you know, about music and just to show that I'm an individual and that I do my own thing.